We want to begin with that police shootout that has raised questions about school safety protocol. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Keith Garvin and I'm Daniela Guzman. It all started just before noon today at an apartment complex on Westheimer near Hillcroft, but it ended at Wisdom High School about a half mile away. Let's get right to Brandon Walker joining us live right now at the school with all of the details. Brandon. Yeah, and Daniela, two of the uh, suspects involved students here at Wisdom High School, as you mentioned. But the question tonight, how was one of them able to get back inside the school if at the moment there was an active search for him? What's this care? So the suspect uh, went into, I think, the auditorium. Most of our parents was calling us. They didn't know what to say. Inside the auditorium at Wisdom High School, oh, get down. chaos, get down. someone yelling, get down, others screaming, while on the stage, law enforcement, and what appears to be a closing of a curtain. This is calls to get down, loud and students running. After the shooting, uh, witnesses said that a suspect got a ride from a citizen. HPD Chief Troy Fenner briefing reporters while Wisdom High School remained in lockdown mode. Well, the suspect uh, went into, I think, the auditorium. That's where the cell phone video comes into play. But even if one of the suspects found inside the school was a student and had every right to be inside, how was he able to re-enter if at the moment Houston police were actively searching for him? That's one of my worst fears is me having to hear something and happen to one of my kids, but even anybody's kid. Parents outside of the school wanted to know too, even though they were relieved no one at Wisdom was hurt. Everything that's happened in the past, you know, it's just very scary to think of. KPRC2 circled back to HISD tonight with this list of questions, including how did the 17-year-old get inside, what's protocol for entry, and was that protocol? We immediately initiated our lockdown procedures. To be clear, tonight, first responders underscore their claim safety plans worked. While that may be true, what happened in the auditorium? And again, at what point did a teen running from police seek refuge inside his own school? We suspect them to be very dangerous. HPD not going into any detail about why they suspect those suspects. Again, two of them high school students here at Wisdom to be dangerous. We have since, by the way, heard back from HISD on two occasions within the hour. The first response was that they were looking into our list of questions. The second response just before air was that HPD would have to get back to us again, underscoring what is specifically safety protocol here at Wisdom High School. Once we get a response from HPD, we'll be sure to pass it on to you. We're live on the southwest side tonight. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC 2 News.